Tales of the Forgotten, Nessus, Part 6. Ido translated Glint's question to Cliffix, who sprawled across his chair with an air of self-importance. The two conversed for almost a minute before Ido turned back to Glint. Cliffix will tell you what he has seen, but he must receive something in return. She bobbled her head slightly, which Glint interpreted as the equivalent to an eye roll. He wants his own sparrow. Glenn quickly scanned his internal database for decommissioned sparrows and identified several old models that he thought would be to Cliffix's liking. When Ido relayed Glenn's optimism, the engineer's mandibles clicked in what the ghost assumed was excitement. They lixly chatted back and forth. Ido then translated, He says that he saw the creatures on Nessus during his time with the House of Dusk. They were fighting the Vex over the remnants of a crashed human ship. The Exodus Black! Glint interjected. Just so, Cliff exclaims. She emphasized the word and paused to make her skepticism clear. That during one of these battles, he sheltered in some ruins near the crash site. Inside, he sees a sewer bean with a round bulbous head and flames for eyes. They chittered back and forth once more. He says he did not attack, but he doubts you will be welcome. 